Hey, it's Shelley from Best Buy Canada's blog. This week I've been spending some time testing out the Fitbit Inspire HR. This easy to wear fitness tracker comes with a touch screen um, as well as a back button to scroll back. It is a very comfortable watch strap and a lot of great options. The always on touch screen of the Fitbit Inspire will uh, flip on the second that you turn your wrist. Um, as you scroll through the screens, you can see different options. There's the heart rate monitor. Um, it tracks your calories, your distance. It doesn't have GPS on board, but it does have, uh, it does work with your phone's GPS to track your overall distance for the day. It also tracks your active hours um, as well as your um, exercise that day. It tracks your sleep as well as uh, any water intake that you'd like to track. It also tracks your weight loss. I find the sleep tracking to be very accurate. And because the tracker is so thin and light, it's actually very easy to wear when you're sleeping. When you want to track your exercise, you have a lot of options. You can track running, swimming, biking, interval training. If you'd like to add different exercises, you can go in the Fitbit app and you can um, swap out these exercises for uh, exercises you would do more frequently. I swapped mine out, um, I swapped out the swimming for uh, circuit training. You can also meditate with this watch. You can set timers and alarms. Um, your smart notifications will also show up on this watch. So although you can't uh, really interact other than reading a snippet, uh, you do get a vibration and you can see the beginning of a text or see a missed call or a um, website notification. Overall, I found it to be a very easy to wear watch. I found the watch strap to be very comfortable. It didn't um, chafe underneath my wrist like some silicone straps do. You can also switch out those straps if you'd like to. What I really like about this watch is how you can set goals right on the screen. So you can set your time, distance, or calorie goals, and you can see how you progress throughout the day. All of the data saved by your Fitbit Inspire uh, HR is uh, sent to the Fitbit app, and it's all available right there on the dashboard. You can see your heart beating in real time, check out how many days you've exercised, um, click to monitor your sleep, um, or you can see um, all of the different options available to you see and change so you can change the watch faces um, you don't have to have uh, you can save battery life if you don't have all day sync on um, this is how you change your smart notifications sent to the watch um, or add extra alarms this is just a few a look at some of the app notifications that you can have sent to your wrist um, probably almost everything that appears on your phone can be sent to your wrist it's just a brief snippet but it is enough for you to know whether or not to pick up your phone Changing the watch face, uh, there aren't many watch faces available on the Inspire HR, but there are a few, so you can change them. Um, there's uh, just plain analog, or you can choose the stat heavy one where you can see everything that you've been doing at a glance. I think one of the most important reasons to wear a fitness tracker is to see um, your daily data for how much you move, how much you exercise, how much you burn. Um, it's really helpful to see that data because then you can go back and see how you're progressing. Um, and uh, get that motivation to keep on going. I found the heart rate monitoring to be very accurate. I compared it to another fitness watch that I always wear and uh, it was almost exactly the same um, for resting heart rate and for um, daily heart rate. I also really enjoyed the sleep tracker. The sleep tracker um, kept a very accurate diary of my sleep and the, as I mentioned before, it's pretty easy to wear this watch. It doesn't affect me when I'm sleeping. It's not bulky or anything. I always find knowing my calories burned for that day is pretty helpful when I'm planning out what to eat. Um, but the active minutes on the Fitbit Inspire HR are really helpful. Um, it shows, even though I, you know, if you get 10,000 steps and you're walking, you don't necessarily get your heart rate up there. So you can see the combination of the heart rate data as well as the exercise data and that shows you how active you've really been. I really like the Fitbit Inspire HR. I actually own the Fitbit Alta, um, so this is a nice step up from that one. It does have uh, quite a few different features that the Alta didn't have, and I really, really love the uh, touch screen. It's very responsive, uh, very easy to read, even in bright light, and it's overall a very comfortable watch to wear. You can see my full review of the Fitbit Inspire HR on Best Buy Canada's blog. Thanks for watching.